Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I am Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Dance. Together we're the Office Blokes, aren't yes, we? Yes, we are. It is true. We're not allowed to say we're back anymore because it's been a week. Is it? Oh, right. So uh, we just pretend it never happened. We've been here the whole time. <laughs> never been away. We have been somewhere the whole time, haven't we, Mike? We have. We've been on Patreon the whole time. So uh, yeah, go look at Patreon. Uh, put on Patreon.com. Uh, put in Office Blokes React. Uh, for one pound fifty a month, that's it. Uh, we're doing a Family Guy uh, watch along every Saturday at five o'clock UK time, and we're also doing uh, U US Office uh, watch along five o'clock uh, UK time on a Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, and now also extra content for the five pound supervisor tiers and above. We're doing like extra long content on Fridays, uh, like comedy specials like Dave Chappelle, uh, Ricky Gervais, Mark Norman. Yeah. Done a few, haven't we? We're getting a, yeah. a bit of library yeah, up there now. Yes. Yeah, but, Shane Gillis as well. So, uh, yeah, go down there, check it out. That's open to anything long form, though, isn't it? Because well, the world's yeah, prisons. Yeah, yeah, yeah the world's day. toughest yep. prisons. Which we just was... started doing that, though. We're putting extra yeah. content on there for the, you know, the oh. £5 and above tier, which has always been there, by the way. It's just that we're doing a bit more, yeah. you know, more, more value for your money. For more mm -hmm. value for your money. So, uh, there you so go. yeah, there we go. We'll have a look. Shameless plug there. Mm, why not? Uh, right then, 25 foods Americans love that non Americans think are disgusting. Right. What do we think is going to hit the list? I can't think of any. I mean, he's got Twinkies Disgusting. behind him. And actually, Ooh. Twinkies, if you eat one, maybe two at a push are really nice. But if you go past oh, that, nice. it's, it's sweet. so grim. Yeah. yeah. I try to think of anything that uh, Americans love that, that, that non Americans think are disgusting. Some of the gravies look a bit grim. You know, the white ones. I don't I've like had, the look of them, but I've I'm had white gravies and stuff like that. Nice. I've Sweden had white barbecue as well. I had white barbecue sauce. Yeah, right. It's just. Yeah. So, Messes with me head a bit that. You know. Well, you're not the most uh, diverse when it comes no, to culinary, all, no, uh, no, I've culinary got trials. I've got you? a fairly basic palate, that's to yeah. be said. I'll have to be the first to admit that. But what, uh, what that's about? without trying it, though, to be fair. I thought I would, that gravy, I would try it, though. Well, I made sausage and I made uh, biscuits and gravy. Yeah. And, right. um, and it looks kind of like, looks like a bit like porridge sort of, yeah. look, sort of uh, yeah. um, look. And it's delicious. Is it? Mm. Right. Okay. It's really, really, you'd love it. Yeah, I probably would, actually. Mm. I if probably you get, would. get the meatballs at Ikea, mm. and that's white gravy, isn't it? I've never had the meatballs at Ikea. I've never got out of Ikea. I've never, Swedish fancy, never fancied going to Ikea. You're not anyway. ready for a meal when I've you get halfway been, through. No, I've only ever been a couple of times, and every time I've been thinking, let's get out of here. Same here. Yeah. It just winds me right yeah. up. Same. I like Ikea. I, I hate it. One of, those, one of those rare up. people who doesn't mind to walk around. I feel like I feel like I've been hours. fooled. I feel like a mug. I feel like I've been fooled when I go in <laughs> there. I can't get out what I want. Yeah. They I always put me in a place. Store. They always put me in a place where it's busy as well, like busy traffic wise. Yeah, oh, and it's yeah. just the zoo for me. Yeah, I'm just yeah. like no roundabouts yeah. and they're running to the line, yeah. just getting in and out of the places. I've never been to one in the UK. Have you not? No. Are you not missing anything? I. What about some of the comfort foods like collard greens and things like that? Because I can see a lot of like people in the rest of the world not knowing what it is for a start. Yeah. Um, What's that? Collard, collard greens. Collard greens. It's kind of like, it. it's kind of like a cabbage looking um, right, okay. food. Yeah, right. so it's like, you know, with the whole Southern comfort food and fried chicken and yeah. biscuits and gravy and stuff. <laughs> right, collard okay. greens is like a little Let's get into side it. that you have. Let's see what they are. Might be, might be where off track here. Could be. Let's check it out then. 25 foods that Americans love that non-Americans think are disgusting. Black pudding. You ready to introduce your international friends to your favorite American foods? Or are you oh. are very curious about our American, you know, delicacies? I love black pudding. Incidentally, I'm just putting it mm. out there. It's well I don't love it. I, don't, I just, I, don't, I like it. But I don't, uh, I can take it. If it's, someone serves it me, mm. I'll take it. If someone said, "Do you want black pudding on that as an extra for money?" I'd be like, "No, let's just leave it off. I'm not asked." Yeah, bit of bacon, black black pudding on top of it, fried egg on top of that, and an English mustard. Unbelievable! Just thought I'd put it out there. You, oh, you won't believe this. I've never had black pudding. <laughs> I've never had it. <laughs> You've never had black pudding at all. No, because yeah. from what it's made of, it just sounds absolutely utterly revolting. What? So, it's, it's what it's made out of? I mean, like pig's blood or something like that. Yeah, it's got like oats in it as well and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. But are you a vegan? I know. Jesus. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> well, you might want to hold off a moment and pay attention to this list first. Many American foods are considered too sweet, too plasticky, or too salty to non-American taste buds. Any guesses on what might be on this list? Well, I'm Mike with List 25, and let's find out now by checking out these 25 foods Americans love that non-Americans think are disgusting. Twenty-five chicken and waffles. Honestly, Aiden loves these. 
I absolutely don't, loves them. Chicken and waffles. Yeah. I don't like the sweet and savoury combo. Ah, right, like okay. I've had uh, pancakes with American style bacon on mm. with maple syrup and stuff, and I just it's too throws me off too much. <sighs> I'm a bit like that. It's yeah, dessert not, with savoury. It doesn't it just, seem to go together for me. No, seems don't, a bit, don't bit ever weird. go to the Waffle House then in the USA. No, I don't think. Weird. Don't think that'd be disgusting. I'm just yeah. not the biggest fan. Of, I'd rather have waffles as like dessert it, after chicken. Let's face it, I like chicken. I don't know if you knew that, but <laughs> really, <laughs> do you like waffles? Waffles are all right as well. Actually, then you yeah. like waffles so, and chicken. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, winner, winner, <laughs> chicken dinner. It seems a bizarre combination yeah. to me, but, no, but I try it definitely. Aiden loves it. He's, he's one of his Does probably his favorite right? food. Oh, yeah. Nice. When I first heard of this combo, I was a bit taken aback too. However, it's totally worth trying. You just have to get past the audacity of it all. It's not that much different from adjusting to other things in this country, if you think about it. I mean, is it genius or insanity? 24, mint flavored things. Think York peppermint patties, mint ice cream, or junior mints. Or, you know, mint flavored Oreos. A lot of people that grew up outside of the US think these type of treats taste like eating from a tube of toothpaste. I get it, It's, but you know, I'm still gonna eat mint chocolate chip ice cream for dessert, but I get it. Oh man, oh yeah. Oh, I only found out, do you know I only found out the other day um, on the Super Bowl commercials, is you know when you um, like you flip heads or tails? Yeah. Right? Well, Oreos do a twist off on mm. whichever side's the cream on with the non-cream, and I'm like, no way does it work like that. Normally, if you twist them like that, you've got cream on both sides. And Aiden said, no, if you twist it like it comes off cream on one side, none on the other. I'm yeah. like, what? I didn't know that. I saw it on the commercial, oh. and I was like, is that a thing? I'm still not convinced. I'm not, I'm not a massive Oreo no, I'm purchase. Not. I don't want to buy a packet next time you're to in the try shop, it. Like, yeah. 100% <laughs> I am, yeah. Just fucking try it and see what happens. Yeah. I, yeah. I like Oreos, but they're just not my go-to. Like, if it, if it was all the biscuits on an aisle, they're just not what I'd grab. Yeah. But I'll tell you something I now, though, right? Them. If you went somewhere and they had, like, a loads of biscuits out and you picked oh. up an Oreo, I bet you'd go back and have more Oreos. Probably, than yeah. Because they yeah, are very yeah. Moorish. They're quite yeah. nice. I do quite like Oreos. And, and mm. mint with chocolate. And I, I like mint yeah, and everything. Same. If you have mint chocolates. And mint chocolate that, chip is yeah, the best flavour yeah. of ice cream. Mint, mint chocolate chip. I don't know about absolutely. that. But yeah. It's good though. Yeah, we, I like it. We also, a very English thing is Kendall Mint Cake. Mm. Yeah. That's like a proper... After eights. After eight, are After Eights after English? Eights. Oh, I love After Eights. I don't know, but... I, know. I, I love, love After them. Eights. Yeah. They're Christmas, They're one of the though. best ones ever. You only allowed them in December. <laughs> well, like I say, you, leave, you have to leave those packet, little packets in there. No, you don't. You, you don't. That's, 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 that's illegal. You, then when you find one, when you think it's empty, it's great. No, oh, because you just... That's illegal. You look in it and you can see... That's the sort of thing he'd do. I would not do that. That's, uh, I've got strong feelings about that's that. Good. That's what I'm saying, but it's the sort of thing you'd do. When you eat down for box, you'd probably put your socks in there or something. What the? Uh oh, the bag was ripped. This is probably. Oh no. 23. Corn dogs. Mm. If you think about the way most hot dogs are produced in this country and what they're often made of, I agree. It's totally disgusting. However, if you deep fry that baby in some sweet corn batter, it's right up there with pizza when you're on your way home after a night out on the town. Just sweet, crunchy, worthwhile regret. Oh, mm-hmm. Wow. We're going to pause this one a lot. I can yeah. feel it. I've had a Sonic kebab before, which is a, a chippy sausage wrapped in donna meat and mm. then deep fried. And that's like, Jeez. it was in the press like 15 years ago that they were limiting people in Scotland to one a day because it was killing people because <laughs> it's like 1,500, 2,000 calories or whatever. Yeah. It was think one about... of the tastiest things I've ever had. Yeah. But when you finish eating it, you're like, Never again, yeah, because yeah. you can feel your arteries just clogging mm. up. <laughs> Think about corn dogs are easy, aren't they? It's like a looks like it, just easy to eat. I never had one, would, I would try it though, yeah, definitely with a bit of a I'd nice give it dip. A go. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd give that a go, definitely. It's a fairground, is it just fairground a, food for me? Is it just a thick batter? That's yeah, it's like corn, it's corn batter, right? So it's like a you know, cornbread, yeah, 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 mm. yeah definitely. They, they look pretty tasty, but they look like trash that you know is trash, and sometimes that's a good thing, yeah. Yeah, just yeah. once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Not like an everyday thing, but I'll give it a go. Fairground food is what you say, right? Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. 22. Twizzlers. Oh, delicious. Many people complain about it tasting like plastic that's cherry flavored, and I have no defense for this one. You can use it as a straw, though, which actually, Sour Punch are better for. Uh, they're great for sipping soda out of, also great for. <laughs> I'm. Also great for empty calorie consumption. Or you could just not eat them because they're gross. I hate Twizzlers. 21. Candy corn. 
Ah, uh, quite possibly the most divisive candy out there, even for us Americans. I'm totally on team no on the candy corn, am I? I'm on team yes, sorry Ryder, sorry Crystal. I'm on team yes, you might be on team no. I love candy corn and little candy pumpkins too. Oh, everything's great. I love candy corn. 20, sweet potato casserole. Okay, so two things. Marshmallows seem to ruin a lot of food for foreigners. There's a theme. They are weird and probably aren't even really food. Take that and put it on top of sweet potato casserole, which has lots of butter and sugar added, and mm. it's just a little too much. Yeah. 19, root beer. Now I've heard this from people from several different areas of the world. It's the flavor used for cough and cold medicine all over the rest of the world. I wonder if it's related to using <laughs> kilometers or Celsius. Oh, don't, no, 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 oh. It's not I like over root it. beer, no, I really do. All. 18. When I went to um, oh, the Outback Steakhouse, do, wow. do you love it? Oh, mate, it's one of the nicest restaurants about. The um, but when the uh, root beer, when I went to um, uh, Whataburger, I had the ice cold root beer, like ch yeah, fu cup full of ice root yeah. beer, delicious. It's nice. They, mm. they used to have it when uh, Wimpy was a thing over here. I'm sure they did thing. root beer at Wimpy. Don't remember. Mm, Just not a not thing sure. now. You don't. You won't. You won't find anywhere that sells it over did here. Did we try that on the Try Channel? I've got some out there. I think we did. Got a case of it out there. We did because I hadn't tried it before. Root beer floats though, isn't it? We yeah. put ice cream in it but as well. Ice cream, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I definitely so. had that as a kid. They used to do yeah. Coke floats. Coke Wimpy. floats as well. Yeah. Is that what I'm thinking yeah. of? Yeah, you can Coke that. floats as well. Yeah. I used to have them, yeah. Mm. But the Outback Steakhouse, I don't think it can't be it. Mm. No. It's proper. Blooming onion, that. Is it? Is that an onion? It's blooming onion. Wow. Wow. Outback Steakhouse. From the blooming onion to all the other things, mm. Australians are not impressed and honestly confused by this popular American chain, which, by the way, originated in Tampa, Florida. The original is still there on Henderson Avenue. Boulevard, Henderson Boulevard. Why does I say Avenue? Henderson Boulevard, that's the one I used to go to all the time, not even knowing it was the very first one. Visitors are not sure there's anything truly Australian about the place, not even Foster's. <laughs> Don't matter, you have the big bloke, you have what they call a big bloke. Oh, uh, yeah. The beers, the big two pint beers, or whatever they are, like oh, ice cold, yeah. frosted mm. not glasses. Wrong with that. And they have the uh, the Kookaburra wings, which are like massive chicken wings. Yeah, like uh, really good. Yeah, sounds great. Ooh, it's always nice, mate. You love it. Not, I don't know anyone that doesn't like the Outback. What, what did he just say though? That you won't find anything Australian here, not even Fosters. Fosters, Fosters isn't Australian, but they have it in there. They hundred percent they have it. Yeah, right. So it's so an American chain. It it's an American chain with an Australian theme. Yeah, because yeah. Fosters. But it's Gainer's favorite restaurant. When when we went to America last time, she'd mind didn't keep going. I'm like, I'm not going there today. They'll do that next time we come. Yeah. <laughs> It did originate in Tampa Bay, so, you know, there's that. I haven't had a Bloomin' Onion in a long time. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oop. Oops. Oh, Lost yeah, look dip. at that. That's going to fall. Thousand e Island or something like yep. that. Yep. Mm. 17. Cakes and Candies. I'm sure this isn't a huge shocker wow. at this point. Most chocolates and cakes are way sweeter here in the US than anywhere else in the world. Most recipes are sweet to the point of disgusting. Hey, don't insult my Reese's. By the way, greatest candy ever, fight me. Peanut butter and chocolate. And again, fun fact, it's my favorite candy and I share a birthday with the, cre uh, the creator of it. So that's kind of neat. But all Reese's everything is fantastic. That's why I bought a giant bag of it. <laughs> <coughs> oh, oh, root beer and blooming onion. Oh, 16, grits. It's a hit or miss, even for us Americans. Speaking from experience, the problem is that they are quite easy to over or undercook, and they have a very bland taste, so seasoning is important. Although if you're from the South, you love grits. Uh, pro tip. If you are trying them for the first time, try them in the southern parts of the U.S. Florida doesn't count because while it's in the south geographically, it's not really a southern state in any other aspect. Also, it's true. Don't buy instant grits. Like oatmeal, it's just not the same. And try lots of cheese and butter. And you know what? Pop a fried egg on top. Shrimp and grits. Go for that. Oh, grits are good. I used to not like them. I actually used to really not like grits. I love them now. They're fantastic. And yeah, Florida is not... The South, like, you can't go to Miami and be like, I'm in the South, like, no, no, sorry. 15, 
American cereal. So, let's return to the topic of sugar. Appalled is an appropriate word. Why do we put marshmallows in cereal? This one doesn't have marshmallows, but it should. Let's see. Let's look at this. Serving size, one cup. Total fat, one and a half. Not terrible. Where's the sugar? 12 grams of added sugar. Total sugars, 12 grams, including 12 added sugars. Oh, oh, that's a lot. For one serving. So, <laughs> say nine serving. servings times 12. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's great. America. Four. Is that like 200 grams of sugar just yeah, in that one, like, yeah. <laughs> that one box? Like standard around the world pretty much so with cereals, yeah, isn't it? Like a lot of sugar like, in yeah. them and a lot of them in the so. Yeah. I'm Have you tried grits? No. We tried them last time we went to the US and it was um, I just dumped like a bowl of uh, hot sauce in mine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's the base um, sort of it's ingredient? Corn. It's corn. Mm. So it's kind of like a, a cream corn sort mm. of thing. It just yeah. it sounds like it'd be the bland, bland, but it'll it's take super any bland. flavor. Yeah, you've yeah. got to put you got to put cheese on it, butter. I think ours came with cheese and butter, um, and then I just sort of like tasted it with that, and then I was like, still a bit bland. Poured a little bit of hot sauce in, yeah, tasted. I thought a little bit better, so I just churned the whole lot in, and then it was it was good. All right, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Hot pockets look good. These look nice. Yeah, hot pockets. Oh, yeah. So that's just pepperoni and mozzarella. Mm. By the look of it, it's like a sausage roll, isn't it? A little bit, just with a different yeah, filling. Yeah, looks nice. Pizza roll. Pizza yeah. roll. Calzone. Hot pockets. What we failed to warn non-Americans about is that you have to wait for it to cool down first. Or try to. I put this one in the microwave a few minutes ago. We're going to find out. God, I hope I don't burn my mouth. But then the middle is still frozen. I know it's awful, but so good. Ow. 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 Oh. Mmm. Mmm. You've had time to cool down. That's not fair. 13. Processed cheese. Two words. Cheese food. Not real cheese. Cheese food. American cheese is not the way to show patriotism. Virtually any other cheese will taste better. I do, however, have fond memories of Cheese Whiz and Triscuits. I, I mean, I know, it's so gross and so bad for you, I actually refuse to have it in my house. Do you know why? Because I can't help myself and I will eat it all. Hashtag guilty. 12. Ice. Is ice really food? Well, according to food safety regulations, yes. There have been studies that show it might be a cleaner to drink from a toilet bowl at certain restaurants. However, the more ice, the better for most Americans. In other countries, the massive amounts of ice served in the States are confusing and absurd. We even have... So these are reusable ice cubes. The water's in there and you freeze them. So that way you can actually quote unquote wash your ice. Yeah. So. I've got some of them. I've got Same. ice stones mm, for got... drinking whiskey. Mm. I don't really like them. Like no. the blocks that you find in the I... toilets in the, uh... <laughs> the yellow ones. <laughs> they taste funny then. <laughs> you only Sweet. eat ones, don't you? <laughs> yeah. so. Cheers. 11, fruit salad. The big complaint here? Well, more marshmallows. See, I told you there's a theme. Oh, God, fruit salad is gross. 10. We have fruit salad. High fructose corn syrup. Here's another culprit for why our food tastes so disgustingly sweet. Read your labels, people. It's so sticky. Good for baking. 9. White bread. Take all the hearty grains of nutrition and chuck it out the window. Replace with sugar and whatever will make the bread last until the year 2075. I still like it though. I love all breads. That's not fair. That's not fair. It's good. Eight. I, I'm not sure as a nation you can claim white bread, if I'm being honest. <laughs> it's bread. everywhere. The whole of Europe has white bread, don't they? Yeah, it's everywhere, right? White bread, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's it's yeah. bizarre, a lot of these uh, American foods, because it's like... Um... I'm not sure. Fruit salad, for example. I have a fruit salad we pretty much every salad. day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We do fruit salad. It's yeah. quite a popular thing. Yeah. Is fruit salad English? Oh, Is it Hellman's originally? Fruit salad. Fruit salad? No. Oh, no, sorry. Like, I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of salad cream because I was looking oh. at the ranch dressing. Right. I, started, I was fruit getting salad. wires yeah. crossed yeah. for a minute. I was thinking then. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, fruit salad is just, I, I grew up on that. Yeah, yeah same here. I'm drinking yeah, the syrup out of it. I have one pretty much every day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or do your own, can't you as well, yeah. you know. But white bread is definitely everywhere. 
Yeah, it's just yeah. a staple diet. Yeah. Isn't I, it? I prefer bread. English white bread because it's less sweet. If you go to France or Spain or even in the States, it's sweeter. It's sweet like bread? Sure. No, not sweet breads. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the white bread, I, I like ours. I think it's not as sweet. Mm-hmm. But it's everywhere. It's all over. I, I yeah. eat a lot of white bread. Yeah, I do. Mm. Same here. Fair enough. Ranch dressing. Apparently, it's not a thing in Europe. Salty. Fa- I'm gonna. I'm gonna prove something here about this. What I had for my lunch. I'll show it to the camera. <laughs> I took you... a picture of it because so... I thought these were gonna pop up on, on questions. So I took a picture of it today. All right. Ranch. Ah, there you go. That was actually my desk today for my lunch. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's on there. No, I absolutely love yeah. Frank's. I'm not the biggest fan of ranch. Ranch is oh, it's the best. Ranch is well the best. Uh, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. But Frank's, I'll give you all day. I love Frank's. Ranch yeah. on a salad. That's why I had it on today. And a yeah. nice ham and cheese salad, caked in ranch. Yeah. Yeah, delicious. Where did the Frank's come into it? Soup. Pretty yeah. cheese and broccoli soup. You know, McDonald's have started doing a Frank's spicy chicken sandwich. We tried it on our uh, on the other channel. I tried getting one at the weekend, and they just gave me the normal one because it's yeah, supposed it to be spicy. Frank's spicy mayo on it, isn't it's, it? Yeah, it's uh, it's what makes it spicy is you've got they've got the Mac spicy, yeah, and then you've got a layer of uh, jalapenos. I had none of that on mine. Yeah, you have a layer of jalapenos and then a big dollop of uh, Frank's yeah. sauce with mayo. Frank in mayo. Mm. Yeah, I, I've done that for a couple of years yeah, now yeah. i love it we went to the uh, the date came out we went to the mcdonald's at the top of the road here, and we were the first ones to get it said so i got in there just after 11 o'clock it was about two minutes past 11 and i ordered it and uh look packed with school kids and i said have you served them any of these today she went first ones wow yeah i ordered so, go on mike sorry i was just gonna say what's extra in uh ranch then what's it's in mayo it? is it mayonnaise is it no it's like uh oh i guess it is mayo in it that's what you say white. Um, I don't know what's in it's delicious though. I always thought it was a bit more dairy. Yeah, I can show you the bottle when we go upstairs. It's in the fridge upstairs mm. in the office. Yeah. yeah. I tried getting that Frank's thing from, uh, I ordered it from Deliveroo on Monday. Yeah. Two hours later. They're on it, strike, aren't they? It got, got cancelled to say um, we couldn't find a driver for your order. Yeah. We had to phone up and say if a driver turns up, we're not having cold food that's been sat there for an yeah. hour. You need to recook yeah. it. And in the end, they uh, cancelled it and we had to drive there. And they still got it wrong and just gave me a normal mix of Delivery drivers on strike. I didn't know that. Mm. Yeah, All yeah. delivery drivers on strike right. this week. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's probably why. Interesting. Well, I got off, I got my money back and 15 quid credit with Deliveroo, right. which I can't spend if the drivers are on strike. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Mayo. I can't say I understand this one. Ranch dressing is my absolute favourite condiment. Yep. Ketchup? Now that's gross. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. That's fighting words. Ketchup is fantastic. Mayonnaise is the greatest condiment. Oh, Crystal, you and I have we're gonna have a talking. <laughs> Blue cheese dip. <laughs> you made me say ketchup's gross. That's so rude. I love ketchup. Ketchup or catsup? Let us know in the comments below. Seven, sweet tea. If you're new to the U.S. and have stumbled upon sweet tea, congratulations. You're probably in a state where it's safe to try grits for the first time. People in the northern part of the country think it's weird, too. And yes, there's a lot of sugar. I was trying to find the extra sweet version. It's purple. Uh, I couldn't. So this is technically not sweet sweet tea. This is uh, sweet tea and lemonade, also known as an Arnold Palmer. Now, I've never had Milo's. Oh, that's nice. Way more lemonade, though. I'd say... Yeah, I didn't like it when I we like tried it, it. but I like I add sugar to my sweet tea, so hey, I was a hundred pounds heavier. There's a reason for that. Six bacon bits. Is it real bacon? Really? Even if it says so on the jar, I have doubts, and I have no defense for this one. I like how he was showing proper bacon in the background there. Yeah, that's what he's saying though. Is it real bacon? But he's he's like, say, I think he gives said- a shit. It tastes good. Yeah, but I think he's saying is bacon bits real bacon? Yeah, but do you ever uh, do you ever check? Do you ever read a bottle or a, what's yeah. it for? Like you do, do you? Yeah, when you yeah, see it, when yeah. you see that bacon is like ninety percent pork, and mm. you go, "What's the other ten percent then? What are you on about?" <laughs> it's just slices of pork. In there. I don't think I've ever read a label on a on a container or yeah. anything like that, what it contains or anything. If I like yeah. it, because in yeah, that's probably why Gainer does all the shopping. To be fair, yeah, probably. Yeah. 
But no, just it's not the streaky bacon. I thought you would have showed that. It's actual what we class yeah, as proper yeah, yeah. bacon. Sometimes it's nice bacon. to look at the labels on certain things to see what's in it, so you can make your own as well, though. So you think, ah, oh, that's what's in it, and then you, you can sort make of like... Of, of certain things, I don't mean the sauce, but, I'm going to you know. grab a quick look at this bread in case I'm going to go and bake a loaf. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making in there? What are you taking from the shop? They have to look at the label oh. thinking, I'm going to make my own. You're not making anything. No, no, that's what label, I was just thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Press play then. What's one, th- what, what's one <laughs> thing that you've made based off a label recipe? What added things? Maybe no, that, like, no, that you've looked at. And maybe, gone, maybe like I, a curry or something like that. I maybe if, if right. I've made my own, maybe I've looked at what the what the ingredients of a curry, like a shower would, and see what they put in it. So you think, ah, right, that's what I'm missing when ah, I make my own. Right. Just got to the Indian that. mate and get yeah. fucking order from them. It's cheaper. Yeah, but Dicking about. Do not seen, I like making. I like making curry. Do you not yeah, seen in the shop the other day for the first time ever? Bomb. It was called something like mushroom ketchup or something. And what it looked like was a jar of like what was look I can only describe as mushroom sauce, but quite thick. Like almost like a ketchup ketchup style. Yeah. I've never seen it before ever. I just spotted it the other day and I said to Gay, they've got thing what's a mushroom ketchup or something. I love mushrooms. Yeah. I love mushrooms. Yeah. I love mushrooms. I love ketchup, but that sounds disgusting for some reason. I don't think it was those... ke- I don't think it was too mixed. Right. Is it just a sauce? I think it was like mushroom a sauce, sauce. but they, they classify it as like a ketchup sort of thing, but it was right. like a mushroom. That type of consistency. Yeah. They should yeah. call it a mushroom. It was a mushroom condiment that you'd put on the yeah. side. Yeah. Right, get, they get should get call it a mushroom, like you say, condiment or something. Like ketchup is just a weird word for yeah. something associated yeah. with yeah. mushrooms. It just looked it looked pretty grim as well in the bottle. Yeah. Well, so yeah, I looked at the label and thought, I'll make that home. It, but... <laughs> <laughs> right. Even if it says so on the jar, I have doubts. And I have no defense for this one. Five, deep fried festival food. Remember our discussion on corn dogs? Well, people new to the U.S. can't quite wrap their brains around why we are obsessed with frying almost anything at the county festival. Oreos, Mars bar, sticks of butter, funnel cake. Diabetes, anyone? Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Now, I didn't have time. I also don't own a deep fryer. So I got these pork cracklings instead. Which, uh. Something else I really associate with being British. Yeah, Pork same. scratchings. Pork scratchings, yeah. yeah. Mm. Can I have to, we might have to fact check him at the end on that one. Because I've just always assumed. <laughs> you mentioned a deep fried Mars bars. I'm pretty sure they're British as well. Scotland. There's a big Scotland, thing in Scotland yeah. with them, aren't they? Mm. I mean, deep fried mass. wrong. deep fry everything, mm, don't they? Yeah. And they used to make well, and the chippies, didn't they? And people yeah. were getting old beats and still do it. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Get in my belly. Well, it's, <laughs> it's either heroin or deep fried mass. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Are fantastic. Also a very southern thing. Oh, these two are interlocked. Let's get this one. I actually like oh, pork. Oh, yeah. goodness. Mmm. Butcher's cut. You can still feel the fat. I'm not selling it, am I? Ah. Mm-hmm. So not quite the deep fried festival food, but it's a stand-in. Four, Twinkies. I'm pretty sure the Twinkie from my school lunchbox in the 90s is still good to eat. I don't really need to explain this one, do I? I'm still gonna eat it. Twinkies are fantastic. Yeah. They make chocolate ones. I think. What's the, there's an Indian dessert that is very similar to, that it's kind of in a syrup. You, have you ever, I don't know if you've ever been to Rush Home and they've got the kind of, mm. the, in between all the curry houses, they've got the Indian sweet yeah, shops yeah. as well. Mm. And there's one that they have in the window that looks like Twinkies in a, like, is it Gulab Jamama or something? Yeah, or? there's one I've been to in town. Sure. It was all the Indian uh What's that? I think I know. I think I've seen what you're talking about. It's I don't like, know what it's called. It's like it's just See, is that what, it, is that what it looks like. Yeah, it's like Twinkies, but without the stuff inside Side it. it yeah. It's just very like diabetes inducing, mm. sickly sweet. Yeah, but well tasty. Yeah. I did like. I like the Twinkies when we tried them. Though. Oh, they were great. I did, yeah, I did sweet. quite like them. Not too many of them, but one or two maximum, I think. And after that, yeah, having really half sweet. one and he's, he's struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I yeah. Liked them. That time we tried them, I think I ate two or three, and I was pretty hyped up. Ah, you're you're, you're a sweet guy. Yeah. <laughs> you, you like sweets, though, don't you? Like I do. You're I do a like dessert guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am actually, to be fair. So yeah, right up my street. I like desserts to have a, a sell-by date, though. You know, like my desserts to <laughs> go bad after a week or so. <laughs> not not good forever. They make mint ones. Hmm. Oh man. Yep. That was so good. Three. Chicago pizza. If you haven't tried Chicago style pizza, it's at least worth giving it a go. 
it's a whole experience and you often need a fork and knife to eat it. Think of it more as a pizza casserole. It's another debated food, even among Americans. Let us know more things in the comments below, Chicago style or New York style. Two, oh. Pop-Tarts. Too dry, too sweet, too confusing. Are oh, they agree. really considered yeah. breakfast mm -hmm. pastries? They can also burn your mouth as well as Hot Pockets if you stick them in a toaster first. These ones grab my attention. Um, I'm gonna give you like 10 seconds to try to guess what flavor you think these are. Blueberry. <laughs> I'm gonna get, look, let's, you still get to guess. Give me a second. I'll see if it gives it away. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. That's not gonna help, is it? Any case, um, mm -mm. one, biscuits and gravy. Did it? Did there he not go. tell us what flavor it was? Blueberry. Was it actually? No. <laughs> that's, 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 why not? Why? Why? I didn't know the debate about the pizza either, because I didn't yeah. get what the Chicago pizza was. I mean, it looked it's like deep a dish, deep dish. It looked yeah. like it was really. It's like proper thick deep. with tomato oh. and. Yeah, lots of sauce, lots of mozzarella, thicker, deeper. Yeah. Right. And then in New York, it's sort of a thin slice where you can just grab it and eat it. Yeah, right. You sell it at the King Wensler's uh, pizza place. You can oh, get yeah. deep pan or crisp and even. Yeah. I think this is... <laughs> Jesus. I can see there being a time and place for both. <laughs> He's here all week, everyone. <laughs> a lot of visitors and those newly settled have commented that our biscuits are oddly bland and dry, especially as much sugar and salt as we add to food. Though what do they really find disgusting? Biscuits and gravy. It's gloopy, gloppy, and salty, and will make you question a few life choices. I have to say though, this one depends largely on who made it. Biscuits and gravy is fantastic. Are fantastic? Mm, try it. Again, another Southern thing. Don't, don't go North and go biscuits and gravy. So, have you tried any of these? Also, what are some foods in your country visitors might find weird? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, yeah. I love biscuits and gravy. Yeah, you mentioned them before. You've had it's, it uh, I made it. Yeah. Did it on a channel. On our channel, yeah, it's making biscuits and gravy. And the biscuits didn't look great. They were a little bit uh, grim. Yeah. <laughs> they tasted good. They didn't look good. Easy to do? To uh, make or was it a bit uh, difficult? The, the, or? No, it's pretty If I can make it, mate. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty, pretty easy. But the biscuits were quite tough. Yeah. Right, you know, okay. To make sort of thing. But that, that's bacon. Yeah. I've never, never baked since cooked in my right. life. So the biscuits is so like, the a, first time. like a sweet you type know? of... Uh, it's like a similar to a scone, isn't it? But it's, it's different. Not, no, taste, it's a little bit, not, a bit different to a scone. It's a bit like I would, I would classify it more like, um, almost like a strudel type texture yeah. sort yeah, of right, thing, yeah. uh, or a croissant, like a hard, quite harder croissant, yeah, right, sort okay. of thing. I mean, so it's laminated, like, yeah, butter. kind of like, yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was, but the sausage, the, the sausage gravy was delicious, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's something you, I know you'd like it, yeah, for sure. I probably yeah. would actually. It's still, again, it's a bit of a weird combination in my head, but I think I probably would like yeah. it. Yeah. Well, as soon as I, as soon as I tried the first, one, I had it first in the USA. When I tried it, I was like, that surprisingly is really good. Yeah. And I was like, if that was something that was on a menu over here, and I was going there to that place regular, I would have it all the time. Give it a go. Really? I'd have it all the time. Right. Yeah, it's definitely a. Uh, it's definitely one of them breakfast foods to, to me. It beats your sausage, egg, beans, <clears throat> chips. Whatever you know in the in the, in the morning. Oh, so that's why it is predominantly. Breakfast. I think it's a breakfast. Yeah, I'd say right, it was a breakfast. Okay. Uh, but but I definitely have that over that. Yeah, without right, a doubt. Okay. Mm. Right then, uh, I googled where does pork scratchings originate from, and obviously pork crackling is coming up as well because yeah. I think that's yeah. the American mm. term for it. Uh, been one of Britain's favourite snacks since the 1800s. Thrifty, a time ago then. Yeah, thrifty yeah. farmers would cook up pork skin until it became crunchy. And then it became a staple in pubs, bars, and restaurants. Not restaurants. Uh, and it's uh, it's from the West Midlands or the Black Country. Oh, it originally okay. yeah. it originates. I knew it. So, ah. ah. What part of the Black Country is it? it well, it says, it, just says, it says all West Midlands. What, so, yeah. I guess it's probably the well, Black Country is in the West Midlands, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Um, black Country's West Mids. Yeah. Is it more West Brom? That's where Declan lives. Declan's in the Black Country. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How is he? Right, yeah, okay. it's in Dudley. Yeah, it doesn't, Dudley. Yeah. doesn't specify. But there you go. Nice. Mm. Yeah, look quite nice, some of them, though, actually. Yeah, I wouldn't say a lot of the, uh, yeah. the 25 American food or foods American. Well, it doesn't say American food, does it? It says foods Americans love that non-Americans think are disgusting. Yeah. I uh, There's quite a few on there, which I, uh, I wouldn't classify as disgusting. 
None ice. of them. Some of them are a bit weird. <laughs> Imagine ice. Oh, it's combination. <laughs> Cold water. <laughs> Frozen water. Yeah. Yeah. Who I invented this. It's just a bit of a clickbait title, isn't but, it? But uh, yeah. I, there's not many things on there that I'd turn my nose up at. No. If I'm being honest. No. no. No, it's. Uh, I think what what I should do is make sausage and biscuits and uh, a bit. Sorry, sausage, uh, biscuits and gravy, and let you guys try it. Tell me what yeah. you think. What do you reckon? Yeah, could give it yeah. a go, couldn't we? There's yeah. an American Sounds diner. Ash keeps talking about. You know, was going to at some point called Billy Bob's. Where is and it? She's, I think it's. Uh, she wanted to go when we went to the national shooting show, which was in Harrogate. So it's up in that direction. Oh, somewhere. I know where it is. I wrote to him to see if we could go down there, Billy, but it's two lads. Um, it's right. up in, uh, is it, I want to say it's Leeds or somewhere like that. Or it's, it's, Leeds. it's somewhere, it's on the yeah. way. Yeah, right. okay. I, know, I know where it is, yeah. I've she, heard of it. She's gone there loads of times yeah. over the years and she's been yeah. trying to get me to go yeah. for I think it's for two ages. lads, two brothers that have opened it. Uh, who, I don't think they're American, but I think they've got like American uh, connections yeah. of some sort. I think they went on holiday there and found out all this food was great yeah. and then thought, bring it back to the UK yeah. type thing. That's a lot of chicken and waffles mm. and grits and yeah. things like yeah. that. Yeah, I've it? seen it, yeah. Yeah, but it's, uh, that's what we should do. Yeah, yeah. nice one. Good. Good video, that though, yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.